morning guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here be sure to hit the subscribe button and if you are back thank you and i'm glad to have you back we finally hit 1,000 subscribers guys i am so happy and so thankful it's just a big milestone and it was so hard to get to so i am so thankful for you guys um if you want to be part of my next thousand make sure to subscribe Sorry, Eric's a little hyper this morning. But today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys seven self-care habits that can definitely transform your life. These are not by any means hard habits to start or to keep going. These are really easy, really simple, and I feel like anybody can do them. So let's get right into it. The first habit that I really love to practice is to get some fresh foods in my system and get some water in my system. Um, we all know that eating fresh foods is obviously healthy for us physically, but it is also really healthy for us mentally and it increases our mental happiness. It just has so many positive effects. So you can get just a little bit of fresh foods into your diet every day, whether that be just a little bit of fruit or a couple of vegetables. Um, or the right kind of protein, whatever you like and you can do uh, it makes sense for you. It just really can have a domino effect and create so much more happiness for you. And drinking more water, we all know that that is good for us and <laughs> it's so preached about. I feel like um, I don't need to talk about it too much, but definitely drinking as much water as you can is good for you and physically and mentally so the next one is going to be to make your coffee at home this one might seem kind of silly but it really does have so many positive effects just from doing a small thing not only are you going to be saving money but it gives you such an, a sense of accomplishment when you make your coffee at home every single morning and take it with you instead of going and buying it somewhere else um, not only that, but it's kind of a new hobby that you can learn. Um, if you want to use an espresso machine, um, if you want to learn how to make different kind of drinks, this is a new hobby that you can learn and it will only lead to more self-appreciation. The next one is going to be spending time with your mind. And this can be anything like journaling. Um, some people like to do like adult color books, um, anything like that. And this is a really important thing, a really important habit to get to start practicing. It can be pretty tedious at first and feel like you're not getting anywhere, but I promise if you guys stick to it, you'll see a lot of positives come from it and it will actually begin to be something that you look forward to doing every single day. Um, and it'll be a creative outlet for you. It can be more like therapy for you. It can be whatever you want it to be. So I would highly recommend getting a journal or a bullet journal or anything like that that you can use to spend some extra time with your mind. The next one is to elongate your night routine. Um, this is really, really important, for, especially for the ladies out there. It can be really easy to look at your night routine as something tedious or you just want to get it done quickly. I know that's a lot, how a lot of us do it and we kind of associate it with going to bed. So just get it done quickly and go to bed. But it can be really powerful for you to elongate that and actually spend some time with yourself. So I just like to do things like one of my favorite things to do is getting a really hot washcloth and putting that over my face. Um, the girl who does my facials started doing this and I just love it and it's so relaxing. Um, just finding little things like that that you can incorporate into your night routine that is just causes you to spend more time with yourself and really use that as something that you can enjoy, not something that you have to do. Find good serums, find a skincare routine that works for you and just enjoy doing it and enjoy that self-care of the day. My next habit that you guys really need to get into practicing is to do small tasks that lead to big tasks. I know pers from personal experience that it can be really overwhelming to be at work or be at school and realize that when you come home, you still have laundry to do, dishes to do, meals to make, whatever it may be. 
So what really helps me with this and helps me not be stressed, not be overwhelmed is to do small tasks that lead to big tasks. Whether that be in the morning, catching up on the dishes. Usually I like to get my kitchen completely clean before I go to bed because it creates such a happier environment in the morning and it's clean and it's a fresh start. Um, or just doing one load of laundry instead of catching completely up on your laundry but just small tasks that lead to bigger tasks will take a lot of that stress off of you. The next one is also very common and it is to get outside. I feel like we don't take advantage of this as much as we should and we don't realize how much it can do for our mental health. Even if it's just in the morning first thing, putting on your slippers and going outside for a couple of minutes and just taking some deep breaths of the fresh air it really can increase your mood, your happiness, your productivity. It has so many benefits to it. So I highly recommend just getting outside for as long as you can, even if it's just a minute and just enjoying the outdoors and nature and spending some time in it. The last thing which might seem kind of controversial is to be unproductive and not feel guilty about it. There are definitely nights when I do not practice a lot of self-care habits or even get a lot of work done around the house or a lot of schoolwork, and it's really easy for us to feel guilty about it and go down on ourselves because we're not being productive. But a really healthy self-care habit to practice is to not feel guilty about this, to go to bed early and just watch TV or just watch your favorite movie and just enjoy it and just say, I'll get this stuff done tomorrow because it's not that important. It's not more important than your mental health and it is really easy to get in a funk because of it. So try to practice being unproductive. Okay guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope that you like these habits and I hope that you can implement some of them to lead to a happier version of yourself. And be sure to subscribe and leave me a comment down below and I will see you guys in my next video.